Whenever it comes to power and riches, the residence of African president is best used as the point of reference. Call it whatever you want, but the residence of African presidents are not always referred to as presidential palaces. In fact, while some African states prefer to use the term state house or presidential villa, others are more comfortable with the executive mansion or flagstaff house. But one thing stands the same in all of these mansions, their great significance and magnificence. So today, I bring you the East African presidents and their presidential palaces. This list of presidential palaces are not in exact order of presidents as all buildings match up to equally beautiful in style and stature. Number one is the State House of Uganda. This is the official residence of President of Uganda, situated at Entebbe, 40 kilometers south of Kampala, the capital of Uganda. This building is very interesting. Actually, it resembles letter H. It hosted the Queen of England on a visit to Uganda for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The State House had some renovation with a project cost of approximately 1.6 million US dollars. And number two is Burundi Presidential Palace. This building is located in Gasenyi, in the north of capital city Bujumbura. The building cost is 22 million US dollars and it was built by China and given to Burundi government as a gift. This presidential palace was built on 10,000 square meters land and has several facilities on its premises including circular roads, car parkings and sewer systems. This building, despite being the main residence of the president, it includes also the offices of the president, vice president and their staff, conference room and space for official ceremonies. Number 3 is State House Nairobi. This is official residence of President of Kenya. It was the Prime Minister's residence from independence until 12 December 1963 when Kenya became a republic. 12 December 1964, as the Prime Minister's position was abolished, it has been the official residence of presidents since then. State House Nairobi stand on a 3 square kilometers piece of land and it is just 10 minutes drive from city center. Other than Nairobi one, there are other state houses in Mombasa and Nakuru. There are state lodges in Edoret, Sagana, Kisumu, Kakamega, Rumuruti, Cherenganyi and Kisi. They are scattered around the country to provide accommodation to the president whenever he is touring various parts of a country. Number 4 is State House Dar es Salaam. This is the official residence of President of Tanzania in Dar es Salaam, which was founded by Majid bin Said of Zanzibar in 1865. The State House blends African and Arabian architecture with wide verandas and covered walkways. It is white walled with floors of African terrazzo and stands in over 33 acres of ground overlooking the Indian Ocean on the east and Dar es Salaam to the west. The brass studded west doors are surmounted by a replica of Republic coat of arms and flanked by two giant drums. During 2001, one of the entrances after the car gates was adorned with the two male lions overlooking guests as they would be welcome to the State House of United Republic of Tanzania. However, due to the shift of the capital from Dar es Salaam to Dodoma, even the president will shift from Dar es Salaam State House to the Chamuino State House in Dodoma. The total area of Chamuino State House is 8,473 acres, equal to 84.73 square kilometers. Chamuino State House will have its own zoo with wild animals like giraffe, zebra, and many other. Over 40% of the state house is now fenced. When it completes, I'm sure Tanzania will have the most bigger and beautiful state house in all of Africa. Number 5 is Village Uruguiro. Village Uruguiro, in English Village Hospitality, is the office residence of President of Rwanda. It is also where the president receives and entertains state guests. 
The complex is located in Kasiru area in Rwanda capital Kigali. It was originally built to accommodate the 6th Franco-African summit in May 1979. So there you have it, the presidential palaces of East African presidents. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, share and subscribe to The Boss TV. See you next time. Until then, as always, bye bye.